Hey, it's Phil from Honey Exchange. Coming at you from the Be Loud Glade, my house. Uh, today I'm going to be putting Formic Pro mic treatment on the hive. We'll talk about that and why while I do it. You don't want to do this on uh, a day that you've done a full inspection. So today we're just going to get in and get out <coughs> and give them some medicine. It's the third week in July, and now is a really good time to get your hives mite levels into check. Because if you don't take care of it now, those nurse bees that are going to be feeding your winter brood, those bees are going to take your hive through the long winter, uh, those bees are going to be born in the next season, in the next cycle here. So you take care of their mite load, take care of their virus load, virus load, get them healthy so they can survive the winter. So I'm going to go down into the brew nest. I've got a deep and two mediums. If you've got two deeps, just imagine that instead of these two mediums, you got those two deeps. This is heavy with honey. Uh, I thought he was done with the trimmer. He's not done with the trimmer. I'll have to top over. It. So the brood is concentrated here in the center. We want to get the medicine right in the heart of the brew nest. Thing about Formic Pro is it's going to treat inside the cap brood, which is where your problematic mites are. It can also treat with honey supers on, which is why it's nice for a midsummer treatment. Formic Pro, available at the Honey Exchange, $17.95 for a two hive pack. This is one treatment. I'll show you what it looks like inside. In the package, you've got instructions. Read them, follow them. Why are we wearing gloves today? Ah, the gentle hum of a weed whacker. Earlier the neighbors were doing it in a duet. Had kind of a moody feel to it. Try your best to not inhale too much of that. What you got in here are two pads wrapped in paper. Leave the paper on. Don't take it off. You're giving too much medicine. One goes in the back. If you had two deeps, you'd put both here. But I don't. I'm going to put the next screw chamber on. Put the other pad up in front. We surrounded the brood. Got it right in the heart. It's a heavy uh, third hive body. It's filled with honey. So most every cell in this hive is filled with either brood, or pollen, or nectar, or honey. So I'm going to give them some space because of this medicine. They want to have somewhere to run away to. Don't we all? So uh, if you give them an empty honey super. This is one that we just extracted, which is why they're a little crowded right now. Whether you're giving that space or not, you may see some bees outside, particularly when it's hot. Um, it is hot, it's in the 80s today, which is a little hot for Maine. You want to be in the mid to lower 80s at the most. If it's going to get too hot, open up the screen bottom board if you've got one. I have mine open. Uh, you'll lose a little bit of the efficacy of the medicine, but it's going to be a little healthier if you've got some air flowing through it. Also, adding the space is going to help a lot with that. Probably see a little uh, pile of dead bees out in front of the hive on the first day of treatment. Those are just old bees that were likely to die outside anyway. Um, and if you have grass in front of your hive, you may notice a little bit of browning on the grass because the plummet drops down and you know, kill the grass. But don't worry about that. It's all normal. It's all healthy. We're giving this hive strong medicine. Uh, take care of their mites now. And then we're likely to survive the winter. We're also going to give them a secondary treatment sometime around Labor Day. So we do around here. So thanks for coming. Good luck with your bees.